Today, I want to talk about a moment that V had asked a fan to keep quiet and what happened there. We need to talk about V and Jenny at the Harry Styles concert and what that is about. And then we have a Taiwanese company apologizing to Blackpink. So hey Dumplings, this is Dave Desai. Hey or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Grab your Dumplings, hey Spilling Mug Merch, and let's go. Recently, as we know, Blackpink is on tour. We are all very excited to see the girls go on tour and enjoy their time in the sun. YG kind of keeps them in their YG dungeon for many years at a time, so it's nice to see them have fun, dance, and just do what they love to do. Recently, it was seen that Blackpink was on their Taiwan leg of their tour and was recently about to land there. Most concert venues around the world are owned by one of the few companies that run concert venues. So Live Nation actually does a lot of the venues in the US and of course internationally too. Many Blinks and many different fandoms will follow these Live Nation accounts to make sure that the concerts will go on without any issues. And if there's issues, these Live Nation social media accounts will post about it. Recently, Blinks noticed a post that could not have been up for more than just a little bit. It was a post where it appeared someone was standing on the runway and took a photo of an alleged private jet that had taken off. The caption said, walk yourself out in Chinese, and then the title of one of Blackpink's songs, As If It's Your Last. Of course, Blackpink was nowhere written in the post, but if you're a music-related company and you're putting a song title and it's around the time Blackpink is supposed to be in Taiwan, then people will automatically assume who the post is about. This post is very interesting to me because it would imply that whoever posted it was on the runway and possibly had walked Blackpink into the plane. But this alleged person who might have walked Blackpink into the plane also had the ability to post to Live Nation's Taiwan Instagram. Taiwan did release a statement and I believe their statement. I will talk about that in a bit. But the backlash that the account got from this was swift and a lot. Of course, many Blinks were wondering why a post like this would be made and why an alleged Live Nation social media manager would be a hater to Blackpink. The comment along with the song title would imply that they would hope something would happen to the plane or that Blackpink should not be treated like royalty, right? That they should walk themselves out of the plane without security or anyone to get their luggage and all that. Of course, Live Nation Taiwan, as I said, did end up giving a response and they had a lot to say. I'll put the statement on screen if you want to pause and read it, but the gist of it is that Live Nation Taiwan has many people who have posting power on their social media, so they're trying to investigate to see who may have done that. And then also on top of that, are the photos circulating around real? as in someone edited the story and made it just appear like not Live Nation Taiwan posted it. Unless the poster did something crazy like wiped out their history, I think you can still check if a story or stories were posted, but I think only the ones that disappear after 24 hours. I think if you delete it, which they might have, it's gone from the archive. So I don't know 100%, but likely if they contacted Instagram, they could help. But the chance of the photo being edited to make it appear like Live Nation Taiwan posted it is possible. So I'm glad they're looking in to that. Many people were mad and many people didn't even read the apology to say that the apology doesn't even sound sincere. The apology is not supposed to be sincere. It's a statement to say they're investigating what happened and if they find out the person who did it, they will take action on that person. To crucify a whole company and to say that the whole company is bad just because of an action of one employee is awfully ridiculous. The company should not need to apologize for something that one bad apple might have done. But anywho, we shall see what happens and if any results come out of their investigation. Of course, social media is also very much well known to fabricate things just because it's so easy. I don't think every story or anything that is shared is always fake, but of course, as I usually say, when you see stories online, take it with a grain of salt. Even my videos, I get my information from news sites and what goes on on Twitter. However, sometimes there's information and things that the media don't fully know, and thus when it's reported on by the news site, and then I pick it up and interpret it maybe differently, it's this game of telephone, right? So take everything lightly. With that said, there was a cute story going around of Taeyang appearing at someone's workplace, and the person decided to write a cute post on social media to share their wonderful experience meeting them. They did not even allude to what the workplace was, if it was a public space with seats, and Tan just sat there or if it was like a restaurant. I think we can assume a restaurant though. Apparently Tan walked in all covered with a face mask, but of course us armies could see Tan from the back and a mile away and still recognize him. The army said that Tang was doing something and then made himself a hot bowl of ramen. This is what made me think it wasn't a restaurant because he made it himself. 
the ramen. So it could literally be like a doctor's office waiting area and he just poured hot water from the water cooler and made himself instant ramen. But apparently Tang sat there for a bit and after the army confessed that they were an army and loved Tang, Tang asked the army to keep quiet for a bit so he could enjoy his quiet time there. The army even wrote Tang a note which Tang did respond to and it seemed like Tang was very appreciative of everything that the army did for him. The army said that they won't reveal any information about the workplace so that Tang would feel more than welcome to revisit and go there if he needs a private moment. And the army even said that they want to laminate the notice that Tang wrote back to. This is so nice and I love this story. I think it's real because it sounds very possible. It could not be, but I'm inclined to believe it because why not? However, this is another point I want to make is that if it was real or not, we wouldn't know. There's literally no evidence of a photo from this army and Tang. And of course, they didn't put out their workplace. I'm not saying they should have done any of that. And disrespected Tang's privacy, but I'm saying that anyone can then make a story like this and claim it's real, right? So just take things as you will. And just as easy as it is to spread a cute story, real or not, it's just as easy to spread a fake bad story too. And this person could have easily also added that Tang was being mean, right? So take it all with a grain of salt. This is not an attack on this person's story, but I also try to have a takeaway with each topic. Anyway, it would be no wonder that Tang would be a bit on edge and really try lately to keep his privacy as there's a lot of eyeballs on him right now and specifically people who want to know if he's dating Jenny from Blackpink. The rumors have died down a little bit, but it's still very huge in terms of, I think, people just normalizing the idea that the two are dating, even if it's not true. Tang and Jungkook and many other K-pop idols in Big Hit actually ended up attending the Harry Styles concert in Seoul. This was just a cute moment that we got to see everyone being more themselves and enjoying their time off. Of course, of course, the boys probably enjoy concerts and shows just as much as we enjoy watching them, and I'm sure they like to feel normal every now and then. People actually spotted Jenny and Rose, literally almost like five people away from Tang and Jungkook's group. And of course, we see Tang and Jenny in literally one frame, and everyone freaks out. Oh my god, the rumors are real, even though there's no interaction there. And it doesn't even matter if Jenny was on the other side of the stadium. The fact that they're breathing the same air meant dating apparently to these fans. Some were saying that backstage they were likely dating or whatever, I don't think so. There was a small clip that went viral where we see Tang settled into his seat, but then we see Jenny and Rose getting ready to get seated. They were being guided along and took their seat, obviously not too far from Tang. People were saying that you could see Tang's reaction when he noticed Jenny there. People were saying that Tang was scared, and yes, I actually do believe that, because if you look at his face at that moment, he actually does look scared. That is not a reaction you ever have seeing someone you know, let alone someone you're dating. I think he was shocked that she was there. If they were dating, it would not be a surprise that Jenny was there, right? Tang would have known and would have been able to plan it with Jenny, if that makes sense. Like look away, look on his phone, and just pretend Jenny isn't there. The fact that he appears to, to me to be uncomfortable because he's scared of backlash online means he actually probably didn't know she would be there. And what couple doesn't text each other what they're up to? Jenny and V sitting close to each other does not mean dating either, since it's now believed that they got tickets to a VIP seating area. So of course, they would be all within the same proximity. I initially thought it was a seating area like everyone else, but I think it is VIP. That means that they likely did not choose a seat themselves. And if they did choose, why would they not choose seats literally on opposite ends? Either way, dating or not, they are friends. We have seen Tang interact with Lisa. They were friendly to each other during the Paris fashion show. And then of course, since the merge with YG and Hybe, they are of course somewhat business partners. So they're going to be friendly with each other. It doesn't mean anything more than that. Let me know what you think and make sure you check out my Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks for this lovely comment right here. Love you. Bye.